As an aspiring civil engineer, for you to be able to design buildings, bridges, dams, and other structures, you should be able to carry out a structural analysis that will determine the internal forces and deflections that a structure will produce at a given design loads. So what does it mean? For you to fully understand it, you should start on the basic concepts of structural analysis, starting with the brief history of the evolution of structural engineering, followed by the structural layout and classifications, structural elements, types of structures, the loads acting on structures, and the analytical design methods used in analyzing and designing structures. Let's start with a brief history. In this first topic, you will be introduced to the evolution of structural engineering through time, under which structures, engineers, structural analysis. Let's start with the structures. When you combine parts or members in a certain way to build something holistic and capable of holding itself with or without loading is actually called structure. In the field of civil engineering, structures such as buildings, bridges, dams, roads, cableways, factories, and other infrastructures are built using theories and concepts. When designing a structure that creates a system to hold loadings for a specific function, the structural engineer must be accountable for its safety, aesthetics, and serviceability including economic and environmental constraints. Now let's see the few structures that were built a long time ago and still stands today and became one of the famous tourist attractions in the world. Let's start with the Giza Pyramids. In the Giza Plateau, the pyramids built there amazed mankind, even the present generations. Not only have they stood the test of time, but the accuracy with which they were built is impressive even by today's standards. The three pyramids were built as tombs for three different pharaohs during the 3rd and 4th dynasty. The first and the biggest pyramid was built by Khufu between 2551 and 2531 BC. While the second oldest pyramid was built by his grandson, Khafre, between 2558 and 2532 BC. Lastly, the third pyramid was created by Menkauri, which is Khafre's son and is believed to have finished somewhere around 2490 BC. Now let's proceed to our second destination, the Colosseum. One of the greatest achievements of ancient Romans is the creation of the Colosseum, also known as the largest Roman amphitheater ever built. It was built in 70 AD and was finished in 80 AD. It was capable of seating 50,000 people and was usually used for gladiatorial games but also be used for public spectacles, mock sea battles, animal hunts, executions, reenactments of battles, and dramas based on classical mythology. Emperor Vespasian conceptualized the construction of the Colosseum, whom he used the treasures seized during the Great Jewish Revolt in 70 AD to fund its construction. When he died in 79 AD, his son Titus completed the construction in 80 AD and inaugurated it during his time. The Big Ben The famous tower clock Big Ben was actually the name of one of the bells and not the clock itself. But as time goes by, it has been named both for the tower clock and the bell. It was completed during the restoration of the Palace of Westminster in 1858. The tower stands 316 feet tall, 
clock face is 23 feet square with four foot numbers and the great bell is seven and a half feet tall and weighs 13 tons though charles perry designed westminster's palace it was actually augustus pugin who created the clock tower while the clock was designed by beckett Tennyson. amazing right now let's move to our fourth structure the eiffel tower between 1887 and 1889 Eiffel Tower in Paris was created and served as the entrance arc of the Exposition Universal, which marked the centennial of the French Revolution. The tower was only supposed to stand for 20 years, but it was a valuable communication tool and remained as an unmistakable element of Paris' skyline. Engineer Gustave Eiffel designed the Eiffel Tower and was originally submitted to Barcelona for the Universal Exposition in 1888, but to his dismay, it was rejected. When it was constructed, he engraved the names of 72 French scientists, engineers, and other notable Frenchmen. Last on our list is Taj Mahal. One man's greatest love for his wife created the crowning jewel of India, the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal was built by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan when his third wife, Mumtaz Mahal, died while giving birth to their 14th child, Gauhara Begum. It looks like a palace, but it was actually built as a tomb for the emperor's favorite wife. It started its construction in 1633, a year after his wife's death. The mausoleum was completed in 1648, with the surrounding buildings and gardens taking another five years to complete. The construction took 20,000 workers and craftsmen that were recruited from all across northern India. He exchanged a large palace in the center of Agra with Maharaja Jai Singh for the three acres of land where the Taj now sits. So those are five of the amazing structures in the world. Seeing the structures as great tourist attractions around the world for a long time, it has been proven that it was created with great aesthetic and durability serving its purpose.